Local sports from KYMA News 11. Imperial Valley League Spring Sports takes center stage. Welcome back everyone. We begin with softball where the Brawley Wildcats are trying to keep pace with league front runner Holtville. Tonight they would get a challenge from the Imperial Tigers. So we take you out to Abdul Muhammad Field for the highlights as Marissa Pena squares off against Arlette Torado. So we pick it up in the top of the fifth. Two outs. Ali Tapia chops to third where Abigail Ruiz nabs it. Tags third for the third and final out of the inning. Or top of the inning. Bottom of the frame, Ruiz lays into this pitch, letting off a line drive down the third base line. That's going to be a one-out base hit. And then the Tigers will catch a break. Alessandra De La Trinidad grounds this ball to Dylan Gill, but her throw bounces off the second baseman, and that error is going to give the Tigers two base runners. But Gill would find redemption as she catches his pop-up by Jalen Gutierrez and almost turns it into a double play in the process. And then Pena is going to get locked in from the pitching mound. She strikes out the opposing pitcher who goes down swinging. The Wildcats were up 3-2 to two at this point, but would later expand their lead for good. Brawley takes the 9-4 to four victory. We move on to a top-tier IVL baseball battle between Southwest and Holtville. So we're going to pick this thing up in the bottom of the second. Senior Danny Ramirez on the hill, and needless to say, the Vikings' Bryce Buscaglia hits to deep short. The throw is off the mark, and Buscaglia does a little shimmy. Get the crowd fired up. Two outs later, Buscaglia tries to steal second. The throw is there for Jose Perez, but Bryce is called safe. And then Ramirez is going to find a way to get out of the inning as he gets Rafa Espinoza to go down looking. So we go to the top of the third. Viking starter Raul Sierra looking to keep the game close. Leadoff batter Ezekiel Barraza. Starts the inning with a base hit to left, and Braza would later make his way to third on a stolen base and an error. The game would go extras, but the Eagles would prevail. Six to three, these two teams play again on Friday. Mark that on your calendars. To Elmer Belcher Field in Clexco, we go as the Bulldogs hosting the Calipatria Hornets. Diego Avila on the hill for the Hornets. Bottom second, Bulldogs up 2-0. Avila induces a ground out the short for the first out. And then the defense would fail him. Number 16 hits the slow roller to short for a base hit. And then moments later, runners on second and third, and we got ourselves a little connection there, and the ball's bobbled. The throw is late. Both runners come around to score to make it 4-0 Calexico. They win this one at home, 9-2, Bulldog up. Calipat still looking for answers as the Hornets still winless on the season. All right, our final highlight of the night takes us to Hal Church Field as the Central Spartans play host to Palo Verde. So we go to the bottom of the fourth. Skyler Cook is going to slap a grounder down the first base line. This is going to bring a runner home from third and allows another base runner to take third base with ease. Spartans taking the 10 to 2 lead. We go to the top of the fifth. Multi sports star Jordan Hill or Jordan Reed on the hill for Central. That's right, he's their quarterback as well. He would have his struggles allowing. Two runs to score, including this one off a wild pitch. Spartans lead cut down to six runs, but Reed would eventually take command, getting the first out as he make this batter strikeout looking. And then the second one, he would also give the KO treatment to this would-be hitter. Then later, he would get the third out, making this batter go down swinging. Central's lead would continue to dwindle, but the Spartans would hold on for the 12-8 triumph. All right, we're done with this IBL edition of All Local Sports. Brando, back to you.